And we're recording here too. Yay. So welcome everyone to the how to increase your impact and income masterclass with hot seats. I am so excited to deep dive into specific things that you guys have questions on, especially some of you like amazing seekers who've been like, I'm watching all the masterclasses and I have a question about this or a question about that. So I'm super excited to dive into some hot seats. Awesome. Let's see where everyone's at, what they're grateful for today. And if you guys are joining on Facebook, you can also put that in the comments below. Mention where you're at in the world. It's so fun to see and what you're grateful for today. So just moved to Burlingham. Mm, very fun. Very grateful for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you, love. And Stephen, New Jersey. Awesome. Yay. And my idea is like, it's all good because last two ones, we had different technical issues on both things. So we are getting all the like Mercury retrograde has been done. So that's complete. So that thing isn't happening anymore. Awesome. Awesome. And your jammies. So good. I love that. <laughs> Wonderful. So, so, so good. I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful that you guys are doing amazing work in the world and that you're here to increase your impact. That is so near and dear to my heart. So I'm super grateful for all of you, the work that you've done in the world, you shining your lights. So, so, so grateful. And I'd love to join our energy together and connect in for some pleasure first, to deepen and ground in together as we open to receive all the healing downloads that we're going to go through tonight and the transformation. So I invite you to close your eyes, get centered in your body, take some deep cleansing breaths. <sighs> as we open the circle for our one live and he'll be connecting in on the replay. And as you take some deep cleansing breaths, let your shoulders drop, relax your jaw. If it feels good to stretch, move a little bit, I invite you to do that. Ah. <sighs> Let anything from the day that's not of service to you just drip and drop and melt completely off of you down into Mother Earth. Mm, letting everything go. Hmm, we're still getting some of the beautiful releasing energy from the strawberry full moon that we had. So anything else that you had intentions of letting go and releasing, letting those layers go, letting the remnants of that all go. Hmm. And if it feels good to move your body, you can shake it off. You can slough it off your skin. Ah. Ah, breathe it out audibly. Use some vocal cord vibrations to help that clear it out. Ah. Yeah, that's feeling like a lot more energy moving. Beautiful. And you can flow in and out of that. You can move between moving your body, shaking it off into stillness, into uh, breathing it out. You can do whatever feels most in alignment for you at this moment in time. And then we're gonna ground into Mother Earth energy. So feeling your feet on the floor. You can visualize roots coming out of your toes, coming out of the bottoms of your feet and energetically going down, down, down into Mother Earth energy, connecting you, grounding you into the core of the earth. And then you can intentionally pull up bright white light 
unconditional loving energy from mother earth through those roots up 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 into your toes your legs up through your spine and your chakra system filling you up fully and completely and shooting at the top of your head and spilling overflow out through your crown chakra and letting it be this beautiful spigot that then pours down and overflows into your space, into your energetic field, into the room that you're in. <sighs> Allowing you to be a clear channel for yourself. Grounded in unconditional loving energy. And if that's feeling good for you, you can sit in that, feel the overflow, filling you up with every breath, overflowing into your room, all of this unconditional love, bright white light energy. Hmm. And if you're feeling called to add in another piece, you're also invited to start moving your hips. You move your hips back and forth, side to side in circles. Hmm. Beginning to activate your energy and your root neurotic energy this pure creative energy and if you so desire you can also add in the piece of playing with some kegels you can contract your pelvic floor on your in breath relax and release it on your exhale and play with this you can play with it and how fast you're moving, the speed you're going. <sighs> and then you can add in the question, how can this be even more pleasurable? <sighs> and allowing your body to give you the answer. Mm. It might be a different speed. It might be touching your skin, caressing your body, playing with your energy field. It could be letting go of a piece that was feeling good a minute ago that's not feeling good anymore. Hmm. <sighs> And just play with your pleasure here, allowing you to expand and receiving more and more and more pleasure. Mm. Mm. And with all of this, all this energy that you're moving, all this unconditional love and supporting energy, filling your body and filling your field, we're going to bring in an intention you have for tonight's session. So get clear within yourself. What is your intention for the call today? Hmm. And when you're ready, you can begin to come back into stillness. You can connect in with your hand on your heart, your hand on your root, your solar plexus, wherever it's feeling most supportive to ground this intention into your body. Hmm. You can repeat your intention out loud. Everyone's muted if that feels good. 
speaking your intention into your reality. <sighs> mm. I love feeling all this energy, everyone's intentions coming through clearly. Beautiful, beautiful. And then when you're ready, you can return to the space, open your eyes. I'd love to hear in the chat how your body's feeling right now. I definitely have a lot more warmth in my body, heat in my hands, tingly from everyone's intentions. Mm. Ah, and if you're one of our Facebook people live or on the replay, you can also add in your intention and how your body's feeling. You don't have to share your intention either place if you don't desire to, but if you do, I would love, love, love to witness you in it. Mm. More breath through my, throughout my body. Mm. So, so, so good. Ah, yeah, I definitely feel a lot more spacious energy. Mm, so, so, so delicious. So I am Laura McPhee. I am so excited to be co-co-creating with you all tonight in our special hot seat edition of the How to Increase Your Impact and Income Masterclass. I have a ton of tools that we get to use in our time together tonight. I'm a Theta Healer, so we're able to deep dive into the root of your subconscious limiting belief systems that aren't of service to you and that we can clear it out in all the various, various ways that it's showing up in different areas of your life. So even if there might be something going on in your business, in your personal life, in your relationship, like hardships in one area tends to bleed over in another. So it's super fun that when we clean it up in one area, it gets resolved in all the others, which is really fun. I'm also a Reiki master practitioner, so I'm able to tune into your body to clear out what's not of service. Definitely feels like we'll do some more throat chakra, throat chakra clearings in the session and feels like there's like a little bit of like stuck energy in a couple of people's roots and I'm tuning into everyone who's like live and on the replay. So we'll do healing downloads and send Reiki energy to all of those spaces and places within you that have some blocks so we can clear it out, release and let go of what isn't of service to you any longer. I also love all the conscious pieces. I'm a Tony Robbins Master University graduate, so I have a lot of like conscious pieces around the masculine energy and how we can utilize that and support ourselves and have homework and have all the different strategies that move us forward in our life and business. And then I also love the deep dive feminine. I'm also an erotic blueprint coach. So I have the sexuality piece as well. And it's so fun to notice all of the shifts that we can do in pleasure, in our lit up energy, in our turn on and how that can flourish our businesses, which is so amazing and exciting. That was a big thing for me. I focused a long time on receiving and healing and doing all the different things. And then when I focused on receiving in the bedroom, that was the funnest way to play with it. And receiving more in the bedroom allowed me to receive a ton more in my bank account. Um, a story that's coming through to share is that when I did Path the Passion for the first time back in 2019, I literally was like, oh my God, full shapeshifter sex, awesome expansion, tons and tons of orgasm, several hours of like continuous erotic expansion. It was just unbelievably amazing and awesome. That was like the most I'd received. And then I went into a two week period of basically like expanding that and playing with a partner who's also a shapeshifter. And literally I went from a 6K month in October to all this expansion when I was traveling to coming back to my business in December and having a 20K sales month, 18K cash month, like receiving in pleasure and allowing yourself to play with it there is so phenomenal and so incredible. So I love being like the four minute mile for people to be like, oh my God, that's possible. Oh my God, that's possible. And yes, it's possible for you to focus on the things that your soul is calling you to do, which includes all the pleasure and all the fun. And I have to keep it pretty PG because we are streaming to Facebook <laughs> and all the big O's. And it allows you to go so, so, so deep within yourself and within the energetics that you can expand more in your receptivity and your capacity to receive and hold in the fun places like income in your business and cash flow and savings accounts and all the fun things there. So I love bringing in those pieces. 
I'm also clear cognizant. I just get knowings for people. So that'll come in handy when we're doing our hot seats. I'll just like know things and get intuitive downloads specifically for you. I'm an empath. I'm a reflector in human design. So my design is the 1% out of the four types that has all of my centers open. So if you know what your human design is, if you look at your picture, it's likely that there's a couple spaces within it that have quote block channels, like they have color in it. So those channels get to feel what it's like to be opened in my presence. So everyone's channels get to be more open, things get to flow more. And I'm a mirror, like literally a reflector is a deep mirror. So I love being an amplifier of light workers, coaches, healers, practitioners, heart-centered entrepreneurs, because I get to like support you in amplifying your light and your good and your amazing impact in the world, which makes my heart and soul so ridiculously happy. And I'm also really great at finding those like exact little teeny tiny, hard to find. You couldn't find it. No one else could other, either find it. That gap, that thing, that root problem that's holding you back or keeping you stuck or preventing you from being your next level self or experiencing the goals that you're desiring to call in. So I have all those tools and more. I'm an accelerated evolution practitioner as well. There's so many different tools. So we get to bring all of those to the table, especially since we're going to open it up for the hot seats. I've been so excited for this one. We did this all the way back in 2020. We did several versions of the typical how to increase your impact and in income, which each version is slightly different because I tune into everyone's energy and I move and flow with it. So yes, we have the masculine structure of the main six gaps, which is your unconscious limiting belief systems, visibility and throat chakra blocks, unhealthy money mindset, outdated boundaries, not doing the conscious 3D work and inspired action, and that masculine feminine energy being out of whack, out of harmony with each other. Yes, it has those structures. And if you want to dive even deeper into those, um, you can watch the past two versions that are still up for a limited time. We have those replays and that'll be going out to everyone who um, signed up for it. So if you are watching on Facebook and want to sign in for the opt-in, it's in my Facebook cover photo. It's the quickest way to get that. And also if you're watching on Facebook and want to actually get your questions answered in the hot seat, then sign up so you can get the Zoom link. I tried once before on the internet to post Zoom links and then that gets like crazy spam bot craziness into the Zoom room. And we do not want that. We want clean, good people in the Zoom room. But that was really fun. I still have that video of like how I handled it really well. And it was like an activator for a bunch of other people who were like, oh, I was nervous about that ever happening. And you handled it so well. So we ended up doing downloads for random, crazy spam people on the internet and hackers. And like they were like super lewd and it was really bad. Okay. And connecting into the chat. Beautiful. Warmth in your heart. Love that. So, so, so good. So I'm actually feeling kind of drawn to jump right into the hot seat. What I had done before and like was in my notes and we can still do that if no one's like immediately ready for their hot seat questions um, was going to be like doing a high level piece, but it actually feels good to jump right into hot seat. And then we could kind of expand from there and fill any, any gaps that come through for anyone who I also had a couple of questions come in from um, messenger from people who weren't going to be able to come in live but still wanted their hot seat questions answered so we'll have those but I know Beth you for sure wanted to get yours done do you want to be our first hot seat tonight or anyone else you can also like raise your virtual hand or start popping your questions in the chat if you put it in the chat and put like anonymous I can use it without saying your name. We had an anonymous question, so we can do that too. But I feel really it'll be fun to jump right into hot seats. So do you want to start with that, Beth? <laughs> you can unmute yourself. Yay. Hi, Laura. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited when I'm in your presence. Yay. Even seeing you, I just get so, so happy. But anyway. <laughs> Yay! I, I think it. everybody does. <laughs> so. I've been told that that my like joy is contagious, and I'm like, Your yay! That's my intention. <laughs> <laughs> it's all working. It's all working for you. Mm, thank you. Um, yeah. So I'm in. I don't know. I I've I'm in this sort of like weird place right now where I've been like. we're like we're trying to sell our house mm -hmm. you know and I've always been like really 
good at manifesting things and like all this stuff, but it's not happening. Mm -hmm. And there's like this whole outer world of like seeing the world being like contracting around money. So there's this outer piece and I usually try to ignore that, but my husband's super deep into it. Like, it's not going to work. We're never going to sell the house. He's like freaking out. <laughs> and so, or it's just like, well, it's fine. If we don't, then, you know, and so many emotions are going through us. And I'm just so affected by what's happening with him. And, and then we've had this, he and I've had this dance of like access around money. So like, mm -hmm. there's a part of me that keeps being like, well, when the house sells, then we can make a plan and I can have more access to money. So if I want to get more coaching or if I want to get yeah. something, I can, yeah. but there's this sort of like, we're just stuck in purgatory right this second, oh. like where nothing is moving forward. And I've also been just a super big lame about like creating my business. And that has not like been happening at all mm -hmm. for me either. Um, although I'm getting a lot of intuitive hits of what I want to do and what I want to create in the world. So that's all sort of happening and I think something is shifting. Cause like mm -hmm. yesterday, somebody out of the blue just emailed me and was like, I want you to be on my podcast. And I was like, what is happening? So I know things are shifting. Celebrating you for that. That's so yeah, amazing. I mean, I'm celebrating that too. And, and I am doing a lot of what my intuition has been telling me to do so I'm I'm starting to do all of that and I'm getting some support around all of that mm -hmm. um, but I still have the block of like where I'll be like my there's a part of me that's all like everybody's so successful and I suck you know so I get that I get all like uh, about it right and then also in this purgatory dance with my husband where like I have no access to money so I feel like we've got a lot of money but I am poor in the relationship because I don't have any power somehow. Mm -hmm. And that's been weird, but somehow it's going to like shift if we sell the house and then the house is not selling. So it's like, all of that is just like this big morass of life. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a lot. Sorry. It's too much. <laughs> no, you're not too much. I'm like, Oh, that's a lot for your human. I'm like sending so much love to all your human parts that are like, Oh <laughs> yeah. I am just like, I've just been like, so like, and, and you know what, Laura too, like I've always been this person who manifests really well. And I feel like, where's my magic? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to like say that the universe hasn't given me a lot. They've given me tons. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, in this new place that we just started to live in and it's we just rented it we rent we're renting it and it's really nice and so i manifested an ocean view out my window <laughs> Yay, <laughs> so so i manifested amazing. a lot of cool things i mean i'm manifesting a really beautiful dance life i'm manifesting all kinds of things are coming my way so things that i wanted are coming my way i'm just being like very like why I'm so stuck in like these other parts. Yeah. Other mm -hmm. You know, like where I'm like walking around being like, I can't buy new shoes because we haven't sold our house. I can't, <laughs> like my shoes have holes in them and it doesn't matter, but I can't buy them until I sell my house. Right. <laughs> and then I'm like, uh. mm. yeah. So I do, oh. I do have a lot of opposing things happening yeah and we can clear it all i'm like cool we can do all that oh good let's clear everything i've got to do something it's got awesome. to shift yeah get, and i i keep trying to be like no we'll we'll sell it it's okay mm -hmm. stop being scared but that's not his fault he's just reflecting some part of me i'm sure that is right. scared and obviously not speaking it or not saying it mm -hmm. yeah so. mm -hmm. yeah I hear that so there definitely feels like there's some pieces and parts of you that are like inner children that really want to like have their hissy fit about like how much this fucking sucks oh my god I want money what, what we don't understand there should just always be money like why isn't there yeah. money I, um I'm, so I'm very much like 
I'm, I, I am very much like, I get like mad at my divine team, you know, <laughs> Probably mm -hmm. like, Hey, because they <laughs> sent me here. I mean, seriously, I didn't even want to move. And like, <laughs> I have so many freaking signs to move. And I was like, God, all right, I'll move if that's what you want. You know, I mean, it was like ridiculous how many times <laughs> I got like, new location, new energies coming, waves of prosperity. And I was like, mm -hmm. are you kidding me? <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't do this to me. I trusted you all. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I needed, to to, I needed to talk to another goddess because I was just like, I can't deal. <laughs> yes, I hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one of the big needle movers I'm getting for you is that actually feeling all of these like disappointed inner children who are mad and sad and like it should have happened by now. And like, I got these things and like, you've broken my trust. Cause like, it was supposed to be quick and this is my human timeline. And why isn't this just like here now? Like letting those parts be seen and felt by you. That feels like a really strong piece for homework is like <laughs> letting yourself feel them and have a pity party and be like, it fucking sucks. It hasn't happened on my human time. And it's like June 16th, 2022, where the fuck's my money? Like let it out and feel yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And there's like a couple different anger releases coming through. I'm not sure if you like love swamping or love like specific things. So if you have one already coming through for you, you can definitely do this. Um, and it feels like some active ones will be good of like getting a towel and like hitting the wall <laughs> or like hitting your bed or getting a like cushion and like hitting it up against your own bed, like in a safe container of releasing the anger, but being like, fuck you universe, like fuck you adults who like decided to move. And like, it's not actually happening yet. Like let <laughs> it out instead of like putting a nice shiny like sticker on top of the crap pile that you don't have money to spend yet being like but I'm trusting that it will manifest hopefully maybe kind of hopefully yeah <laughs> I am mad I am so mad yeah so like <laughs> feeling it and being mad feels like that'll help it release um and then the other one that I'm getting for you specifically would be like laying down in your bed or on your yoga mat and like visualize like all the anger and like let it burn up like a forest fire and like let yourself let it ignite burn it all down burn all the fucking issues down burning all the problems burning all these arguments burning it fucking down yeah you know what's so it's classic ash. is that I left I have this really specific witness dance that I did in Austin where I could go and like swamp or like be angry and like it's not here I don't have that here mm. I mean, not yet anyway I want to create right. it personally <laughs> right for other people but I don't have it for me mm. um, so yeah I can see like that I'm not like create I'm not moving that energy at all yeah mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. And you can do a virtual swamp with some sister goddess friends, or you can just host your own for your own self. Like whenever you want, you can do 10 minutes after we're done tonight. Like whatever <laughs> feels good for you to like move it through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the piece in like being in stillness and just visualizing it all burning down when it gets to ash, like let it complete creation cycle, like let it get total to ash into nothing. And then from there, just like it would naturally in a forest from the ash, new things come through and new life spurts up. So let yourself visualize that. So completing all the anger, letting all that old energy go, all the stuff from the old house, all that I don't really love where I'm here yet, like all of that go, let it burn down into ash and then visualize from this new place of openness, what are you desiring to put in? So your intention for the night, the tonight that you had for planting that and allowing it to sprout out for your intention for your business, for like your next level self, for all of those pieces, let it all flourish. And where you're living now, for the community you're building, for all these different branches, let yourself visualize and have that be planted 
in those spaces that's now open. Mm. Mm, how's that feel? Yeah, I, I love that. Um, I used to be a cranial sacral worker and mm. there was a lot of times where like fire would come up. Mm -hmm. you know? and so I would just see like, just like huge forest fires. I've had a lot of visions of forest fires in my life. Interesting. So mm. that was like a big vision for me, for sure. Mm, I love that. And they do feel mm. really satisfying in my body. So mm -hmm. good for me. Yeah. I don't, supposedly, like I have no fire in my chart. So Interesting. Like, oftentimes like I need fire. I need to bring in fire from the outside. Mm-hmm. How familiar are you with like Kali energy and calling that in like destructive energy and like tearing it all down and. Yeah, like, I know who that is. I don't know that much about that goddess, but, mm -hmm. but so I'm familiar ish. <laughs> familiar -ish. Okay. familiar ish totally works. It doesn't feel like you need to do like a big deep dive into the archetype, archetype <laughs> at all. Um, but just like knowing that you can like call in that and like when you're envisioning this big forest fire, like call in Kali energy and be like, ah, like we're like burning it all down. We're letting it all go. We're releasing it all out. Even doing that with your breath and like, ah, like letting all of that out. It doesn't mean that you have to like scream at the top of your lungs or do any of that unless you're called to, but mm -hmm. feels like moving that is also supportive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yay. Hmm. Do it now. <laughs> so there was some of this like trying energy in trying to sell your house. And I know there's like some other trying energy in the field. <laughs> little yeah. smiles of other people that it's resonating with. So when we're in try energy, the universe is like, okay, you're at the buffet of life. You're trying this out. You're trying this out. You're trying this out. So there's a difference between, hey, I'm in the frequency of trying, trying to sell my house, trying to grow my business, trying to start my business versus I am, which yeah. is a committed decision of doing it. So I am selling my house this month. It's different than I've been trying to sell my house. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So even you bringing that power back and it feels like part of what this annoying pieces for your human of like, I've been so good at manifesting before. Like, where is it now? A piece of it is inviting you to stand into your power more, to deepen your tools more, to like up level your leadership in yourself, your power in yourself, how you can claim the like creator within you. Like that feels like a big piece coming through. So you getting to own, like, I'm a fucking powerful creator. I decide my world. The most amazing aligned seller is coming, sorry, buyers coming as I'm the amazing seller. Like we will energetically meet and match each other and be the most divine pair. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No, I keep asking for the perfect divinely designed buyer for my house. Mm, because, yeah. I want them to be aligned with my house. My house was awesome. It was, a, it was like a great manifestation. Um, mm. Yeah. And somebody should enjoy that house. Yeah, and someone gets to. Or if they need to burn it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. They can do whatever they want when they claim ownership. <laughs> they can do whatever they want. They're all allowed. But um, mm -hmm. although I kind of don't want them to torture my neighbors, but other than that, it would be okay. <laughs> they need right. to burn it down. They're okay. Things burn down in life. That's <laughs> all true mm -hmm. yeah I think I have been a real like like when I went to go and become a blueprint coach mm -hmm. I was sort of like oh yeah I'm really good at manifesting clients because I had always been really good at manifesting clients when I was a massage therapist and like a cranial sacral worker and all that mm -hmm. people always came to me and they just were like yeah it was no problem and now it was like I thought that was going to be just how it was because that's how I've always been. And then I was like, nope, nobody, that, no, 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 that's happening. And I'm like, oh, okay. So something's wrong. <laughs> something's mm. off inside of me. So 
I don't know what happened there. Mm -hmm. Do you want to clear release and let go of these unhelpful belief systems that there's something off inside of you, that your manifestation's broken, that there's something wrong, there's something that needs fixing? Do you want to clear all that out? Yeah. All those stories, so. all these limiting belief systems that have like started to structure around one bad thing happening and then spiraling into like several stories. Do you want to clear all those? Yeah. <laughs> sure and this is why i love like theta healing it's just like oh like here's your root do you want to just like clear out the junk around it? i do need to clear that out yeah mm -hmm. no i think um yeah that happened because there was a time in my life i was like so good at manifesting like it was weird mm. and then i wanted to like manifest having a baby and that just would not happen mm. and um I was like, all right, you know what? There's some other path for me, which is just like mm -hmm. an erotic path instead of like a mom path. And mm -hmm. I'm good with that. I'm happy that that's like, that shifted my path. But mm -hmm. there's part of me that was like, lost my confidence. Yeah. And who I was like, how to, who I could be in the mm -hmm. world, you know, like what I could have or whatever. Yeah. Mm hmm And that's like big, like I want to honor your human that's like trying to downplay that, but that is so big and such an ego hit to be like, I can do all the things and I'm on a 3D plane where there's soul contracts and there's laws and like, there's all this stuff that I've agreed to and lessons I'm supposed to learn. Like, I want to really like honor your human part that's like, this is fucking hard. And it's awesome to be a spiritual being that's like, we understand it's happening for us, not to us. We're learning lessons from it. This is our divine path. And it fucking sucks. So yeah. like letting your human feel that, like let that move through. And it feels like that'll be another piece of like the anger and even like grief release around that to be like, ah, mm -hmm. in my ego head, I wanted this so much. I put so much energy and time and effort and manifesting it. And then it didn't work out how my human wanted, how yeah. I thought it should look. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, that, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Those part, I, I mean, you would think I'd have met, I've swamped those enough in my life, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's what always is like frustrating because I'll be like, how much more anger do I need to release? But mm -hmm. I am a really angry person. So that's just like, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's just the truth. I don't have to accept yeah. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's always new layers to the onion. Yeah. Like I've done hundreds and hundreds of hours and like being Western when I was a child. And then there's still like more and more places to heal. And on the other side of that, I get more expansive in my erotic energy, more squirting orgasms, more capacity for like receiving and going longer and longer and holding more and more incredible life, business, partnerships, all the things. So instead of being like, fuck, there's another goddamn layer here that needs to be like released of this anger and this disappointment and this grief. It's like, oh, yay. It's showing up because I'm now ready for it. And this is for like everyone who's getting triggered by whatever the fuck you're getting mm -hmm. triggered in your life right now being like, yay, the trigger select slash activator. We can like reframe it into an activation. The mm. activation's here because I'm now the person in a human form who can hold the next level. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And you have amazing soul contracts that when you learn these lessons, you get your next level heart desires. So allowing yourself to move through these things that are up in your world, these activators will allow you to get to the path of selling your house and of having money again and of having your next coaching and all the different things. Okay. So yeah. I know it sucks for our human, which is why like, I really want to like uh, breathe into like the human parts that are just like fucking, fucking, fuck, like more fucking work. <laughs> more fucking anger to do another fucking limiting belief system what the fuck another <laughs> fucking block ah like letting your like human self feel it is a healthy part of the process as well so like giving everyone full permission slips to feel how much that sucks and you can hold all of it the fact that you have a lot of different human parts at a lot of different ages and you're a spiritual being. You are everything. You're God, your creator. You're the oneness energy of everything. We're all connected and attached. Like that is so hard for a human to understand, especially when it's 
triggered slash activated about a fucking hard thing going on in their world. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. So do you want to clear release and let go of all of these layers of disappointment, of anger, sorrow, grief, abandonment, rejection, loss of faith and trust in your own capabilities and your manifestations and in the universe supporting you. Do you want to clear release and let go of all those? Yes, please. <sighs> and do you want to know what it looks like and feels like when you're able to honor where you're at now, where your human parts are at, that that's safe, that you're able to and that you're able to cultivate all the skills, lessons, wisdom, and deeper truths that you've been trying to piece together, that you can have an even more smooth and easeful process in that, that we can mark these lessons as complete, and that you can know what it looks like and feels like to move forward in your own unique, divine, inspired action steps yeah. as you grow and evolve and expand in the different stages and states of your life and business. Would you like all that? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Like other people totally need these downloads too. So I love that you're being like the voice of the group, <laughs> like bringing all this stuff up to the surface that everyone else can clear their stuff of their layers where they're being uh, slash activated right now. Super mm. grateful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> That's feeling a lot lighter. How's that feeling in your body? Yeah, for sure. Just having it witnessed, I think, is always powerful. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And mm. I, I love the way you're like, your human parts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, why don't I honor those a little bit more? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's silly. I, I am a human part. I am human. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah person mm. <laughs> and like it's so weird to our brain like if anyone's like it feels like you're pretty good with like connecting with parts and you're familiar with that but if anyone who's listening is like what are you meaning parts like we're the culmination of all parts of us our baby toddler like kindergarten through to now like all of your parts are up in your body and when they need to share something with you Sometimes they're not the most awakened, healthy, optimal humans in communicating that. So they try to drive the fucking bus. But really, you as the adult are the only one, the conscious being with choice, the adult in the room gets to drive the bus. All the other parts are like in the seats. They don't get to contribute to like, hey, let's take a detour. Hey, let's buy a bunch of like junk food on the road trip. They don't get to like contribute their fears and their anxiousness and all of the worry and all the doubt and all that. And we can totally pull over to the side of the road and be like, hey, two-year-old version of me who really wanted this thing, what's happening? And like being with that part and doing that inner work at a deeper level so you have the freedom to have that integrated more, to be more embodied, which also gives you more magnet magnetism, more capacity to actually manifest what you're desiring, because then you have more parts all in one direction that are going with the same flow versus a part that wants to like hijack <laughs> the bus and like go do this. And then another part that wants to go do that. Another part that wants to go do that. Another part that wants to go do that. Like the more we can wrangle them all together to be in alignment more easeful this gets to be for everyone it's like okay cool we're desiring this we're all moving towards this direction no one's screaming or trying to like hijack the bus <laughs> <laughs> trying to take us off on detours it's like no we're going on the freeway the smooth easeful ride not on like a backcountry road that's super bumpy and hard and like terrible hoping that that might get us <laughs> to what we want like <laughs> Okay. You're making me laugh, Laura, because we <laughs> drove a Penske truck here with all of our stuff, all of our stuff in it. Mm -hmm. It was huge. It's huge truck. It was crazy. And Google kept sending us on these back bumpy roads by accident. Like we'd be like, <laughs> why? We don't want to go on this road. <laughs> We're in a huge truck. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh my God. 
That's so interesting. So interesting when the like external world very much mirrors to us what our inner world is doing. And my husband was like, is Google broken? (laughs) (laughs) So that's interesting. Let's go back to the piece where it's like, is my manifesting broken? Is there something wrong? I've lost confidence in that. So do you want to clear release and let go of all the charge around that, around yes. being great at something at one point and then it going down mm-hmm. and to clear release and let go of any and all internal patterns and cultural patterns, societal belief systems that you need a new low to get a new high, that you need to contract more into an expansion, that we can clear release and let go of this like old energy where you would go further down in order to expand more out, further down to expand more out. That you can extend mm-hmm. instead choose to expand and hold and feel that like contraction wobble and hold it there and then expand and hold expanding and holding would you like all that yes <laughs> awesome and do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to hold that boundary with the universe and that new standard of being within yourself that you no longer drop below this point. And for anyone in your business, that you no longer drop below a certain income amount, a certain dollar amount in your finances, that you can hold your new standard and then grow and expand from there. Would you like that? Yes, please. And I love that this piece is coming up and it's like so common in the lingo of coaches where they're like, I was having my dark night of the soul. I was on my sister's couch. I was bankrupt. And now I'm a millionaire. Now I'm a multimillionaire. Like that you have to hit a new low to get a new high. So sometimes our unconscious hears that story over and over and over that they were like drunk on the bathroom floor, had their come to God moment. And now they're like the star of the show and have all the books. Like all of these different stories are continuously shared which yeah that's a good storyline and it's been what humans have experienced so it's been relatable to people and we can now choose okay we're done like that just like we don't need a horse and buggy in order for us to like feel good about driving a car we can just be like (laughs) hey I'm gonna go straight to driving a car and then straight to like getting on an airplane instead of like going through the horse and buggy phase just to like experience how smooth a car is (laughs) So that piece has been coming through to me so strongly to like keep sharing with people and like I'm human. I'm still learning my lessons. It still shows up in different areas of my life and we get to keep choosing more and more often. I'm not going with that flow and that current of how the universe has been. I get to choose this. Mm. I get to choose to go right to the airplane (laughs) and get from here to here real quick. Like choosing that in your business and your manifestations and your money and all of those areas is so 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 supportive and I like literally made like picture of it so since it's right here I'll totally show you so this is like what people typically do it's like awesome growing expansion contraction awesome growing expansion or like high month of my business contraction and then like going from there in a weird like linear junky way what we can do instead is grow and evolve and expand. I'm like, yeah, grow and evolve and expand. And then quantum leap, be like, oh, I'm not going to be this identity anymore. I'm just going to choose this and then show up here. Like we can just quantum leap or like get on an airplane, so to speak, or a rocket jet and then grow and evolve and expand and like hop and jump and doing that instead of this new horrible phase that I need to like crunch myself down into of experiencing a new type of pain or experiencing a new hardship in my money or my business or not selling my house like instead of doing that and then being like oh doesn't it feel good to be big again we can just like expand hold and grow from there and have that energetic instead so do you want to know what that looks like and feels like for your higher power yes to evolve and grow and expand through pleasure to go from good to great to being brought forward through the motivation and the inspiration of your heart's desires, of your pull, the desire of your next level, instead of the hardship of finances pushing you forward, a new low to get a new high, fears, worries, anxiousness, all the like yucky ways you've learned your lessons in the past or been motivated to grow. 
but we can clear out that old cutting any and all cords, contracts, spouse, commitments, bonds, oaths, and obligations to all that, clearing all of that out fully and completely, and showing you what it looks like and feels like to safely and freely expand through pleasure, inspiration, joy, bliss, ecstatic states, exploration, adventure, curiosity. Would you like all that? Yes, please. Awesome. That feels so much lighter, but I would love to hear how that's feeling for you, Beth. How's that feeling for everyone who's like tuning in as well? I want to know what you guys are getting. And I know some people have gone off camera, but you can just tune in and be like, that's resonating or, oh my gosh, like that really supports when like one person brings the stuff for the rest of the group <laughs> to be like, oh yeah, it's like a theme. And I can feel that. And it's still like good to have that affirmed for the person who's being so vulnerable in the hot seat. It's, it's so cool that you said that, Laura, because I always thought why do we have to go down to create things and go to go back up again like why right. can't we just create from here like, yes be like here. i'm an amazing butterfly and now i'm gonna have now. bigger butterfly wings or angel wings like yeah like why does it have to be like this thing you know what i mean and i've been noticing that but not just like for me but like the world mm. like when i look at the world i'm like yeah why did we do that like why did we create all this pain for ourselves just so mm -hmm. that we can learn whatever it is that we want to learn why can't we just do it from you know a better point right and I mean and I've mostly just been asking the question because I don't know the answer to it exactly mm -hmm. and but. it's not necessary it's just an old belief yeah. system an old story that isn't actually the most in alignment with people yeah no, that's what it seems like to be like that. Like I was like, oh, this is, I don't know. But I'm glad you said that, that that, mm -hmm. that you feel like there's like even a possibility for that is really interesting to me. Yeah. And this wasn't like my human brain did this. This was, I was in a Theta healing course about a month ago um, called You and Crater, where it like gets clear on my survivalist mind on our undercurrent that's like trying to find strategies to learn our lessons in this lifetime to like get the virtues we're here to grab and integrate and it's like hearing those voices the ego voice and then tuning into like higher self voice and creator voice it's like whoa we have a lot of different yeah we have all of our human parts and all of those and then we have a lot of different frequencies coming through of what we think we should do and what how we as a human perceive that this will all work and when we tune into like our higher self into creator energy it's so much clearer and there's so much infinite opportunity like that's the quantum field that's like where literally everything's possible mm. I mean the other thing too it's like I'll get like a tarot card or something or a card that says like watch your thoughts and then I just get really mad because I'm like that's hard to do and I'm like I don't know how I am you know, then I just start to feel like I've, oh, everything's gone wrong because of me. I, mm. I did the whole thing wrong, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. because I didn't watch my thoughts. But then it feels so, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, like, that's like an asshole part of you. Like, being mm -hmm. like how, how good do you have to be <laughs> <laughs> in order to manifest something? Like right. Mm hmm. I love that you're bringing this up and this would totally take us in another direction that I'm really excited to go in. And I'm curious if anyone else who is live in our Zoom room also wants a turn at the hot seat because I'm more than happy to keep going in this. And I know for a fact that this is like helping other people who are listening in and like, it does resonate with Steven and Nadine said earlier, screaming can be good too. Yeah, screaming is definitely really awesome too. So if, anyone else wants to turn at the hot seat, I can like kind of grab a bunch of the pieces that you guys have and do group clearings for them all. Cause I want to make sure that everyone who did show up live gets it. And Beth, if you're the one who's like super brave and courageous and vulnerable for being in the hot seat, you can keep being the channel for the group. 
please give other people <laughs> all your love <laughs> if they need some more. Awesome. Well, I can I'm also always, be... I'll always talk to you, but you can, yes. get, I'm sure there's other people who would love to play too. Yes. And there was someone else who really wanted to make this time and then had conflict and couldn't come. And she's like, can we please do another hot seat call another day? So I am going to Boulder next week. So I'm like, I definitely can't do it that time, but maybe when we come back, I might do another like quick hot seat call for those who are called to do. So Steven, Rachel, Nadin, do you guys want to jump into the hot seat, get some of your stuff grabbed in? Do you want to go into like some boundaries? <laughs> I'll jump in, Laura. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yay. And then we can do an in with the boundary piece because she was like, yeah. <laughs> so what can I support you with? Um, I'm feeling stuck on doing a video. Like I have a group and I haven't really done too much in Facebook group. Mm -hmm. I'm working with these uh, couple called the uh, quantum impact or coaches for transformation. But mm -hmm. I think I'm just like trying to overthink it. You know, I tend to overthink stuff and I need stuff to be more simplified right so what's holding you back right now from doing a video I just overthinking it I think just to like I don't have a script or anything you know what do I mm -hmm. actually how do I welcome the people in the group would you say there's even like a little bit of perfectionism in there of like, if I can't do it perfect, it's better just not to do well, it. Oh yeah, and, that, and that's, you know, that was even just starting the Facebook group. I couldn't figure out how to start it. I was going to multiple people on YouTube trying to figure out because they, Facebook changed everything. Mm -hmm. Like three months ago, they changed their whole, so I couldn't even figure out how to set up a group and stuff. Yeah, so oh. it's like mm -hmm. four months ago, somewhere around there. Do you want to clear release and let go of the frustration around the learning curves of building a business, of having all the technology work, of having the social media platforms work, of having everything be integrated, of having it be smooth, of having it be done the right way? Do you want to clear all the confusion and frustration and overwhelm around learning how to like be a business owner? Do you want to clear that? Yes. Yeah, I totally feel that. And do you want to clear release and let go of this like identity of it needing to be perfect in order for it to be good enough, in order for you to be good enough, in order for you to actually get clients so that we can unattach any and all connections that believe that if it's not done perfect the right time, if it's not done perfect at the right time, that you'll lose someone, that you'll like miss your chance, that something bad will happen, that the other shoe will drop is also coming through. So do you want to clear all those old stories? Yes. And a conscious piece coming through here is like, it's really amazing and freeing to know that you can't say the wrong thing to the right person, that you'll be saying the right thing to your right people. And that was so supportive for me when I started like growing in the spiritual world. And I'm like, oh, I can't say the wrong thing to my right people. My right people will be my friends. My right people will be my clients. The right people will be here. And I still had those like inner child parts that really wanted to like fit in and belong and make everyone my friend and the people pleaser parts that are like, no, everyone should like me. And I like all those different things. So it feels like that's kind of resonating. So do you want to yeah. release and let go of those identities within you? of I need to do it the right way or else I'm wrong, I'm bad, I'll be bullied, I won't fit in, I'll be rejected, I'll be abandoned, I'll lose love, I'll lose connection, I'll lose money, I'll lose clients. Do you want to clear all those fears that you will lose if you're not perfect? Yes. And do you want to see from your higher powers, truth, wisdom, perspective, and understanding how you are a masterpiece? how you are perfect and how you can also simultaneously be a work in progress, how you can choose to learn and grow and evolve and expand on your journey. Do you like that? Yes. And do you want to clear release and let go of this overthinking mechanism as the coping piece that has been so protective in your past? Like it has served its point. We can like 
be so grateful that overthinking in the past has like made you such an amazing achiever, allowed you to have the success in your world so far. And do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to let that piece go when it ends up preventing you, when it ends up capping your productivity or the ability to shine your light in the world? Do you want to clear those? Clear those, yes. And then there also feels like there's some stuck energy in your body. So let's do some body clearing. So everyone can tune into your body. You can start at the top of your head and slowly scan downward. So everyone can tune in to the blockage within you. You might notice, oh, there's a couple. There's one here and there's one here and there's one here. And we're just bringing awareness to them with a scan. And then you can tune into what is the most prominent energy or the most painful energy. Becoming aware of where that just lives in your body. And for some people, it feels like there's like stuff in your third eye, your head going on, there's some like throat chakra stuff, wherever it is in your body, you get to tune into whatever energy you're ready to release and clear right now. So focusing in on where that one energy lives. And Steven, you can kind of be the voice of the group as we work with you, but I'm also tuning into everyone else as well. So Ah, Stephen, where is that energy in your body, that big one that's blocking you, that's ready to be released? Oh, yeah, my neck. Mm -hmm. And that old energy in your neck, what color is it? Uh, blue. And how much space is it taking up right now in your neck? Uh, tennis ball size. Beautiful. And can you feel an emotion that's attached to that tennis ball sized energy? Uh, frustration. Mm. And is there a body sensation that's attached to that frustration? If you feel into it. Uh, tension. Yeah. And if you could touch that old, old energy, that tennis ball shaped energy, what kind of temperature does it have? It is warm. And if you could touch it, what's the texture of this energy? Smooth. Hmm. So we're gonna safely move that old, old energy outside of your body and everyone's bodies and safely place it in front of you without any attachments to you and filling up that space where it used to live in your body with unconditional love and healing energy from your higher power. And if you like that, you can say yes. Yes. And now that that energy is safely outside of your body without any connections to you at all, we're gonna ask it a question. And just allow the first thought, first feeling to come through when you ask it, what were you trying to teach me?
Only getting patience. Mm -hmm. I was getting patience for you as well. There's also like trust coming through. So do you want to know what it looks like and feels like through your higher power to have patience, to have trust in yourself and in the universe that you can allow yourself to deepen into these lessons that we can mark all of these lessons and lessons that have similar frequency energies around patience, around trust, around moving forward, around being a light in the world, around speaking your truth, that we can mark all of those same similar vibe frequency energies. All of those could be marked as complete all at once. Would you like that? Yes. And other people are also learning lessons about strength and resiliency and being their fullest self, like fully expressed self, being an imperfect human, like accepting where they're at in the world right now. So you can mark all of those lessons as complete as well. Yes. And let's clear out any and all old baggage, vows, obligations, cutting any cords attached to these, releasing and letting go of everything that isn't of service to you, all that junk, releasing it on all levels and resolving it on a history level. Yes. Great job. And you can like begin to move your body if that's feeling good. Feels like shaking it out, stretching, doing some ah, deeper breaths. Ah, it will be beneficial. Ha, ah, yeah, great job. Ah. Mm. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to live your life speaking your truth? That you're worthy and deserving of sharing your light, your message, your mission in the world? that you can do so without overthinking, without old trauma responses or coping mechanisms coming up or preventing you from actually moving forward in a safe and aligned way in your life. And that you can see from your higher powers, truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding what this will look like in your day-to-day -day life, in your business, in your relationships, and that you can feel safe and be grounded in safety as you move forward in your unique inspired action steps. Do you like that? Yes. Beautiful. So we're going to transmute that old, old, old energy into unconditional love, sending it out into the ether, transmuting it into unconditional love and filling up your entire body, entire energetic field, every cell of your being with unconditional love and healing energy. Do you like that? Yes. I'm taking some deep breaths as that piece integrates. And how's your neck feeling now? A little bit more looser. Yeah, it's better. Beautiful. And for everyone else, if you want to chat how your body's feeling now, how that space in your body's feeling now. And sometimes it's like, oh, that layer feels totally gone or that feels better. Or, oh, that's like warm tinglies. And now there's this other piece. So it's totally normal and natural. If there's like, oh, there's another piece showing up. That's totally fine. That's like, yay, we cleared the thing. And now it's like, would you like another piece cleared? So let's just clear release and let go anything that has risen to the surface that's able to. It feels like we could do a quick instant healing on that. So the new pieces that are rising to the surface, the new layers of the onion that you're becoming aware of and any and all other places in your body that you were tuning into that 
tension, these old energies that are ready to be released. We can, yeah, fully and completely allow you to receive an instant healing from your higher power to heal and support those areas, to fill them up, to create resource in those areas. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Yes. Ah, <sighs> shaking that out, sloughing it off, anything that feels good for you. <sighs> hmm, and how's your body feeling? Uh, relaxed. Mm, lovely. Ah, how's your body feeling, Beth? Anyone else who wants to share? I know like a lot of that stuff was also like very much connected with some of Beth's things. Um, the other thing was there was a piece, Beth, in your story where it was like, there's this like shitty situation, like it sucks and like transmuting that energy to be like, okay, if there's like shit happening, how can I transmute that into fertilizer? How can I take something that if it's in one place, it's not of service and shift it and move it here so that it is. So even reframing that of like, okay, cool. Well, like when shit shows up, how can I find a resource for this? How can it support something else over here? How can I choose that this becomes fertilizer? Just like make lemonade out of lemons. Like that kind of energy was coming through of being curious is essentially the like deepest piece of it. It's like when that shit shows up, how can I get curious about, Ooh, where's this activating something within me to heal to my next level? Or where can I use this in a supportive way? And especially because we are all service providers and we love to support our people in the world. A lot of our mess becomes really great messages and it sucks sometimes to go first, or it sucks to be like, Oh, I learned this lesson. So that five years from now, I could know exactly what my client's going through. Like, Oh my God. But then you become so good at your message. So things that have been your shit in the past, I'm sure has been total gold for you in connecting with other humans and connecting with clients and supporting other people. So even in that moment being like, yes, I'm going to feel how much it sucks that right now my living room feels like it's filled with shit and that's not where the shit should go. <laughs> being like, okay, being triggered slash activated. How can I use this? How can I move through this? How can, like, what is my body needing? And getting more curious feels like it'll be very supportive. Okay, so then back to the overthinking it. How does that feel in your body now, Stephen? Feels lighter, yeah. Lovely. How do you feel about doing a quick 30 second video where you're just like, hi, everyone. I wanted to give you a face and a voice to the name and officially welcome you to the group and then hit stop. Yeah, that's more clear, I think. Awesome. And you can practice that in the mirror. It's really easy to be like, hi, I'm Steven. I'm so excited you've joined this group. I wanted to welcome you officially, welcome, and then hit off. Okay. Yeah, and it can be that simple. easy. Easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love simple. Simple and easy is so good, and it works. And then you've done the thing, and then it's not this big thing of like, oh my God, I haven't gone on a live, and oh my God. And I get it. Like back in 2015, when I was making my first videos, I'd like record them on my phone, and it would take three to five hours to make a three minute video. And I'd be like, Ooh, uh, like I'd freak out <laughs> and be like, no, this isn't good enough. And then I'd like send it to my healer boyfriend and be like, does this look good enough? And then he's like, yes, post it. And I'm like, no, we're going to like redo it 10 more times. <laughs> so I hear the parts of you that are like, no, it needs to be perfect and scripted and all the things. And sometimes just doing it is amazing. <sighs> How does that feel? Just doing a quick 30 second welcome to the Facebook group. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's lighter. That's definitely lighter. Awesome. Yay. And I believe I'm in your Facebook group. If I'm not, like, do you want to, like, shout out your Facebook yeah. group for everyone who's watching? Um, <laughs> and we can yeah. all celebrate your 30-second video that'll be coming up in the world soon? Uh, I'll have to see what. I haven't been in the group. I started the group, and then I'm just, like, too many blocks. 
<laughs> I get that. I've also done that. I've had several different groups along my journey. <laughs> And then Nadine, we're gonna to move to you next. So if you wanna get your question on boundaries and things and stuff already, then we'll flow into that. And it does kind of feel like we're gonna do another one. So the people who weren't able to catch live and wanted their like virtual question answered, we could just do another one when I'm back okay. after. It's called transform, transform your life through pleasure and breath work. Okay. So I'm excited to see that group that you go live do you want does it feel good to have like a date like you're going to do that after tonight's class or you do it by the weekend or on the I weekend think by the, well by the weekend because then i'm going out to boulder so yeah right. like every day i've been trying to like oh i'll go go on and then i don't go on so mm -hmm. cool so i'm excited to see that awesome yay does that feel complete for you Yes. Awesome. So Nadine, you are up, love. So <sighs> <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> uh, do you want to take a deep breath? <laughs> He's even pushing my button there. <laughs> now he mm -hmm. wants me to get Damien to call him every night. And then of course. <sighs> He's just using all that. Mm -hmm. I had like a conversation with him because he says he needs to talk to me. He needs to figure stuff out. Mm -hmm. And okay, we can talk. But then it always reverts back to, well, can you leave it open to us getting back together? No. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And I feel bad for him. Like, you know, <laughs> it's like, no. Right. Mm -hmm. You get to be with that part that feels bad for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to revert back into dropping your boundaries or lowering your standards or going back into the questioning of things. Oh, well, that's it. But he's just, I think he's hoping that he's going to convince me. And I told him and I told him and I told him and I'm like, <laughs> and now that's draining your energy. So you're officially done that I've told him, I've told him, I've told him cycle. He has been told for a year. It's not going to work. Well, he only started like a week ago asking me back. Right. But you have been clear in the separation <laughs> for a year. Yes. That's yes. a very clear sign. Yes, you're right. <laughs> so instead of you getting trapped in this new pattern of, I told you, I told you, I told you, and draining your energy and being that energy leak in your world you get to get even more clear hey when you start bringing this up i'm not going to go in the loop of maybe this maybe that maybe this maybe that little back and forth be like if this comes up in conversation i'm going to have to end our call so then he stops bringing it up in conversation and you stop going down that loop of no even if you do this no even if you do this no even if you do this like it's complete how does that I think feel that for you? He, yeah, I can't. I'm, I was going to say the word try, though. <laughs> you yeah. caught yourself in that and say try. Yay! That's so amazing. Great job. Uh, it, it's just that he, he at one point said I was leading him on. And it's like, I never said I would, but it's just because I'm, I understand that he's sad right now. Mm hmm. Uh, but I don't know how to be nice without letting, without him thinking that it's a foot in the door. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm not sure right. if I'm explaining this right. And you are a very nice, loving, compassionate human. And it's wonderful that for a long time you wanted to try to be friends and that you wanted it to be friendly and peaceful and amicable. He is time and time and time and time and time and time and time again shown that that's not working and that when you do that, it only leads to you becoming more exhausted and more drained. Yeah. Now he says he wants to be friends, but I'm afraid that it's he wants to be friends because he's hoping it's going to lead to more. Right. So you get to be clear in your boundaries and what it's seemed to be continuously for you is 
no, you can't treat me like these ways. So a lot of people are like, okay, we need a period in which like we don't really talk. And I get that you can't do that because you have a kid, but like you need that period of closure of closing that chapter so that it doesn't feel like either of you are trying to get a foot in the door and things aren't like miscommunicated to be like, okay, some people do it for a couple of weeks or three months or whatever. Like we will not communicate for the next X bit of time because it's unhealthy for us. It ends up being unsupportive for both of us. It's not loving to either of us. So you've tried it a bunch of different ways. So what you could do as a potential option, and you can feel into your body around it, is communicate. I have wanted to be your friend. It's great that you're now available to be my friend, but I don't have energy. I am depleted. I am exhausted. I'm run down. So the best way to be my friend right now is to not bring it up. That we're going to go the next X amount of time couple weeks, month, whatever, three months in which this doesn't get brought up. And if you do not bring it up, I will know that your actions are aligning with your words that you do want what's best for me. And you do want me to be friends. Mm -hmm. And then he gets to choose, is he not going to bring it up? And is he actually going to be in alignment with those words and be friendly to you? Because I've gone through hard times in my life where I'm like, Hey friends, I'm not available for like helping you out or helping you move shit or like anything. And I'm probably not going to like go on like girlfriend dates. Like I'm just moving through my own things and I'm going to go into my own like cocoon and become a butterfly on the other side. But like when I'm in my cocoon, I don't have space. And the people who are in my world now are like, thank you for taking care of yourself. Honor the fuck out of that. Totally understand. Don't take it personally. And are amazing people on the other side of that when I move through and when I do come out and then I'm like, yay, we get to connect and have all the fun time and all the good things. Okay. That's a good idea. Sounds like a, I mean, I will communicate that with him. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I hear the like anxious person. I'm kind of glad like, that I'm going away for a week. <laughs> I'm going away for a week and yeah. I'm going to have to figure out a way to not answer his texts. <laughs> Right. But it sounds like you have a plan for that. So that's a beautiful piece that the universe is literally putting in front of you to be like, awesome. I'm open to being friends with you. My friend, this is how my friend would be, behave and act. These are the like guidelines for friendship. My friend would honor that I'm going on a silent retreat next week and is not going to X, Y, Z, like interrupt, send me messages, blah, blah, blah. So you do have a plan of like, if your sister needs to get anything important, she'll get it to you. But that can be a beautiful testing grounds for a week of how is this actually going to work? How's that feel? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to clear release and let go of any and all anxious energy around what's going to happen next? This like drama, high, low, low, low with him that you can clear release and let go of any and all worries, doubts, and this piece of you that's starting to expect the worst that like the new tool that you get brings out a new shitty side of him or a new coping mechanism in him. Do you want to clear at least and let go of that? Yes. And do you want to know through your higher power that it's safe to have boundaries, to have standards in your life, to clearly communicate them and for you to have humans in your world who will celebrate, honor and accept your boundaries and that you can continue to call in more of those humans. Do you like that? That feels really powerful for basically everyone on the call that you can have your new standards as you evolve and expand as well and continue to bring up the best and the humans that are meant to rise with you and the clients who are meant to rise with you and fill in the blank human experience in relation to you, coworkers, whatever, fill in the blank that you can allow yourself to have different filtration systems as you grow, evolve and expand and have different boundaries that will protect you at the different life stages and phases that you move through. Do you like all that? Yes. Okay. And then let's do big group clearing on all the remaining residual stuff that was coming up for people clearing, releasing, and letting go of any identities around being a good girl, a people pleaser, 
a good wife, a good mother, a good business owner, a good fill in the blank, whatever title you've been giving to yourself that you can release and let go of the unhealthy pieces around that and know what it looks like and feels like to be you, like capital B-E-U, to be your soul's expression on this planet and that you can clear release and let go of any like negative inner critic voices or derogatory things or downward spiral pieces that have come up, um, especially like being a lamo and creating your business or in something being wrong with you that you can clear release and let go of all of those old negative junk and negative energies completely in all levels, resolving it fully and completely and knowing you, knowing completely within yourself how you can move forward in your divine inspired action steps. Do you like all that? <sighs> beautiful so we can integrate all of those changes <sighs> i can offer everyone a general healing for any and all other areas of your body life and business that are ready to be healed right now filling you up with your higher powers unconditional love compassion peace and prosperity and if you'd like that you can say yes taking some deep 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 cleansing breaths <sighs> hmm. and then how's that feeling for you in a den and everyone else can put it in the comments or in the facebook chat Good, thank you that. You're good. so welcome. I have, I have to go put my son to bed now. <laughs> Sounds good. Sending you another man in my yeah. life needs me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And let me know how things go in the group tomorrow, okay? I will. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Love you. <laughs> <sighs> and then Beth, how's that feeling for you? We did some more like identity pieces in there, like the Lamo thing was coming through for you again. So we just cleared that little bit out. <laughs> Ah, feels like things have shifted. Lovely. Oh, that makes my heart so happy. Mm, so if you are feeling complete, we can end this call here. If you're curious about next steps, I'm going to share my screen to talk a little bit more about the increase your impact and income course. And this is what the calls are going to be like. So I love that I've done this course for years now. I've done several rounds of it. It's been amazing. Um, the modules that we have in the digital, like if you just want to do the digital, there's also the digital, but I love the live course because we're going to start that towards the end of the month. Literally the first round, round that we did in 2020, everyone's intentions that actually showed up to the calls and actually did some of their homework and actually asked some questions, got their intentions. So people sold their first thousand dollar package sold their first $1,500 package, had their first 3K month, had their first 2K month, had their first 5K month, started actually like posting pictures on the internet. Like they just wanted to start posting more. Then they started posting selfies with them on the internet and had the option. They were like out and about and a store that they were at featured them and like tagged them in their store. And like all the people, the followers from there like saw their stuff, like all the amazing energies were just like there. And that's the content that we use so that everyone can come to the actual live calls already knowing the stuff. So like the money module, for example, you already watch the money call, you get all those beginning layers of your onion cleared off. And then you can come to the call with me and be like, Hey, this is what's showing up in this moment with my money. And then we get to do hot seats like this to clear release and let go of it. And because group dynamics is like, like attracts like, for the past five years that I've been doing this full time, whenever I've run a group, I've had that same group dynamics where the same thing shows up for one person. Oh, there's a little bit of that for this person over here and some of that for this person. So it's really fun that we get to go so deep in a group container with exactly what's showing up for people in the live calls. So I'm going to open that up. I can't minimize while I'm on here, but I can get the group sharing going. And close out a couple tabs because it's like you have too many things open. And I get that. And I'll also pop this link in the chat that we have here and I'll put it in the Facebook 
after. I have so many things open, it's like slow resource. <laughs> Okay. And for anyone who's on Facebook who has any questions too, you can start popping those in. So when I tune into the Facebook, I can answer anything that might have come up for you. Okay, so that's in our chat. And then the screen share. Can you see increase your impact and in income course? Yay! Yeah, now I can see it. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, cool. So this is a six week container for coaches and healers who are ready for their next level. And I'm so excited to be running this in person again. Yay! Live. So we're going to clear these gaps and to zoom out a little bit more from today, we totally cleared money stuff. We cleared visibility stuff and throat chakra stuff. We did a number of different things on boundaries and our identities and doing like the conscious work and homework came up for people. So a lot of the different pieces here is literally what we move through today. So I love doing these hot seat calls because they do flow into this energy, which is so fun. So we're going to go deeper into these unconscious limiting belief systems, the visibility and throat chakra blocks and body blocks. I tend to attract a bunch of people who specifically have throat chakra stuff going on because I feel like I've done 4 million and two layers of this. So I am an expert <laughs> in those things coming up. Um, we'll heal those unhealthy money mindset belief systems that aren't supportive for you. We'll harmonize your masculine and feminine energies together so that they can work in harmony instead of having like one extreme that's like hyper masculine hustle energy or the other extreme of like feminine energy being like, I'm going to be a couch potato manifester and just like lay here and hope it happens. Like there's some divine inspired action steps that go with those downloads, um, supporting you and getting some upgraded boundaries as you expand along your journey. And then also supporting you in doing inspired action with the conscious duty work, with showing up, with actually going live, with doing those next little baby steps. So all the tools that we use today are going to be in this container. You get all of these video lessons that I was speaking to that we originally recorded in 2020. So you can watch all of these modules. And then during our live group coaching and healing calls, which are 90 minutes, that allows us to go even deeper into the unconscious limiting belief systems, your unique questions, your unique blocks that are holding you back. So we can clear release and let go of that during our time together. Plus, we have an amazing Facebook community. I can say strongly and confidently that after five years of doing this completely full time of having amazing groups together, I attract soul family and I attract people who become amazing friends together, encourage each other in the group, our amazing support systems. They end up like commenting on each other's stuff like years later. They collaborate with each other's stuff. Like so many amazing things come from this community. So you get support from me in there in anything that comes up in between. This gets to be your place that you can raise your hand and be like, hey, I'm not doing my homework because I have resistance. And then I can like go live with some healing downloads or pop in some answers or a practice or be like, hey, jump ahead in this module. There's also a bunch of bonus videos that are in um, the digital library where it's just like people had so many questions. They're like, well, what's the difference between starting off with private work with a, versus group? So if you have a typical question that I've gotten a bunch of times and done videos on, I can be like, hey, go to this five minute video in your resource library. And you can have that answering your questions so that really moves you forward in between our actual live calls together. So you have that momentum in really increasing your impact and income. Here's what you can expect. We do a ton of things in every module. If you want to go into the details, you can totally do that in your own time after we're done. Otherwise, it'd be a lot of me reading. Then we have some awesome bonuses. So there's manifesting one-on-one -on -one workshop and Beth, this feels like this would be so, so, so supportive for you to like really upgrade your manifestation powers and deepen into, okay, what is the like ideal result with your house selling and what's your dream life look like on this other side? So you have the pull of this like next level heart's desires, next level dream life, really moving you forward. So that's bonus in, you can read all about the different details of the manifestation 101 workshop 
and also clearing money blocks 101 workshop this literally clears the most common blocks that people have around money and debt and their bills and spending money or saving money or like any disharmonies in that conflict that they've had with their partners or family around that pressure and responsibility they've had with finances so many things just get cleared in that and it's such a powerful workshop literally channeled through me it's just like the thing that I recommend my even private people over and over and over even to go back to like go back to the section on having debt and like clear out these layers so that's an amazing bonus in there as well so right now the investment of this is 1111 because angel numbers are my favorite but right now we're an early bird so right now you get to save 114 dollars and it's only 997 and this is going to be for the next six hours so if you want to jump on that definitely get in and this is everything that you get in the course so you get the digital program which also has the value of 1111 plus you get the six live group coaching and healing calls and you get the facebook community while we're live plus you get clearing money blocks and manifesting 101 which is a total value of 2,369. I love that it ended in 69 naturally. <laughs> but when you invest today, it's 999. So you save over $1,000 with everything you get in this bundle. Plus, if you're an alumni client, have done previous rounds of increase your impact and income, you can save an additional 40% off. So if you are an alumni client watching, just send me a PM or email my hello at Coach Lauren McPhee, and my VA will get you the discount code. And you can choose if you'd prefer to do a pay in full, or you can do a three month payment plan right on here. You can learn more about me. And we also have extended payment plans because I don't think that money should hold people back. And people did extended payment plans in the first round and every round since I've had clients do extended payment plans who literally like, later on be like hey can i just pay it all back now and do that or people who were in like the longest extended plan that i op offered and then become like a 15k private client and like just it all works for them so i really truly if your heart and soul is guiding you to this as a next step to go deeper into all of these pieces i want you to have amazing impact in the world i desire you deeply to be shining your light how your soul is meant to be serving the world the world needs that so much right now so we do have literally whatever kind of extended payment plan you want because i've had five years of experience where everyone pays and i feel confident in that and i love supporting people who raise their hand and desire that so if you want any other ones i've been posting on instagram and facebook what some of those can look like it's literally like take the total amount divided by whatever amount of months you want to play with and we can make a customized one for you if you want to send me a pm about that so we'll officially start with the group opening on June 29th, and we'll have Wednesday night calls at 7 p.m. Eastern for Pacific, that's eight Atlantic time. And we'll also have an integration week. I find that that really helps people. If you feel like, oh, I'm like needing to catch up on some calls or homework or pieces like that, it's really lovely to have an integration week. So we have our six live calls and on July 27th, that'll be an integration week where there's no live calls learn more about the group it'll close officially on friday the 12th and you can learn about a ton of client success stories i have even more than this this is what we put on the actual page so far because i also don't want to overwhelm people and be like there's 50 things i need to read so here are some amazing client success stories people selling their high, highest packages all the amazing things so that is all in here for you to see and if you guys have any questions on that i'm here to answer them and I'll also tune into Facebook, see if Facebook had any questions. Cool in the replay awesome you're welcome yay awesome okay so if everyone's feeling complete i would love to send you so much love deep gratitude for being here for choosing to do this deep work i know sometimes it can be really hard to look at our limiting belief systems or like going within our body and being like oh what's the thing that's like really holding me back here and facing it so 
honoring all of you so much for being here. Thank you for being such amazing lights in the world. Thank you for all the inner work that you do and then your desire to support other people with it. So deeply honoring everyone who's here, who's watching the replay, sending you so, so, so much love. And I invite you to share this with anyone else in your world who needs it. If you have a friend who's also been going through some struggles in their business and is like, oh, like this particular piece is holding me back. This was a hot seat version of it. If you want to go back and watch any of the replays, we have version 2.0 that we did on June 2nd and the original version that we did. And then there's a bunch of other versions that are in um, my YouTube history. So if you just want to like binge watch all my stuff for free, I totally invite you to do that. Like be at whatever level you're on in your journey, but I definitely want you to get the support that you desire. And because we kind of like dove in so deeply into the stuff here, it does kind of feel like we might do another hot seat one before we officially begin. So you can keep your eyes out for that as well. So sending everyone lots of love. Have an amazing night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.